Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. And today is Whip Weekend number 77. It's Saturday, October 7th, 2023. I hope you all had a wonderful week and um, looking forward to the weekend. Uh, let me start off with some good news. We had so much fun, Paige and I. She, uh, I picked her up Friday after school and uh, we did movie night and pizza. And then Saturday we made uh, sauce and pasta. So I'm just going to insert some pictures. She's standing on a stool and that's why she looks so tall. So we started off with our, uh, our tomato sauce. And uh, the way I do it is I get some um, bones and stewing meat. So we start with lamb, pork, and beef. And we... Uh, we braise it and add some garlic and some onions in there and we just let that braise for a bit and then we start adding our tomatoes and um, I crushed the tomatoes up and um, that's the sauce and it turned out fantastic. So Paige did everything. She picked up the meat. She did everything and then um, later and that will simmer basically for about four hours. So it reduces by about two inches in the pot. And then we had so much fun making the pasta. So this is um, a few pictures of Paige. Um, it was fantastic. Our hands got all gooey, but made sure we scrubbed under our fingernails and everything before we started. So uh, that's her kneading uh, the pasta and then that's her ball. And um, we used the machine and we made uh, linguine. So it was so much fun. And then the final result, uh, she got to pick where we had dinner. So we had dinner in front of the TV and um that was our dinner so uh, we had so much fun it was great and after that um bath of course and then bedtime sunday her and i went out to michael's did a little bit of shopping she wants a uh, a bunny so but she wants it for christmas and she wants a huge bunny so we went out and got some yarn for that and um on she uh her parents uh weren't leaving the campground till Monday morning. So they got here around three in the afternoon. So it has been spectacular. It's like our second summer. It got into the uh, high 70s, low 80s all weekend. And we've had that weather all week too. So it's wonderful. It was be between 20 and 27 degrees Celsius, which is high 70s, low 80s. And uh, we went out and uh, we did a little bit of fall gardening, which... It felt like spring gardening. We trimmed some of the bushes and she's such a great help. So we had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And that was excellent. I was exhausted and I got no crocheting done in those uh, three and a half, four days. So nothing um, finished, as you can see by the, uh, the uh, thumb tag at the beginning of the videos. But uh, we had so much fun. It was so worth it. And then, let's see, my mother-in-law, she's still in the hospital. She is now in the rehab center, and uh, she's walking with her um, her walker. It's a special walker with only wheels at the front and out of the back, and um, her body seemed to regulate out. So hopefully another week or so, she'll he head over to the um, senior center for a month. Um, that way she'll have help because she couldn't do it on her own at home right now. Excuse me. <clears throat> so that's the good news. Now I've got really bad news. Uh, Mom and I went to her oncologist and the chemo didn't work and the uh, the cancer cells have grown and um, almost doubled. So she has two options and my mom has chosen to fight. So we're going to be trying another chemo, which I can't believe she's going to try it. And that'll start on the 15th of October. And it is five days in a row of chemo treatment. So I'll be spending, starting the 15th, um, five days at the hospital with my mom. And then I believe three weeks of rest. So we'll see how that goes. Um, it was not a good, a good report from the doctor. So we'll see what happens with this next round. I hope her body can take it. So that was the good news and the bad news. Um, our uh, weekend coming up is a long weekend. It's our 
Canadian Thanksgiving. And the kids are, again, going camping. So uh, it's just going to be um, Colin's mom's in the hospital. So it's just going to be uh, Colin and I and uh, my mom and my stepdad. So uh, we've decided not to do a big turkey. We're going to save the turkey for uh, Christmas and um, doing some ribeye steaks on the barbecue. So I went shopping yesterday, got all the food that we're going to do. So ribeye is my mom's favorite. So that's what we're going to do. So that's what's happening in my life right now. Um, I've spent the week tidying up, cleaning, you know, going grocery shopping. Nothing exciting at all except for... Uh, the Tuesday appointment with the oncologist. So that's my life in a nutshell for uh, last week. I'm hoping this week I uh, get to relax a little bit. My knee and leg doesn't seem, I did go to the doctors a couple of weeks ago and he is going to do an ultrasound on my leg and knee. And um, sometimes it's fine. And other times I can't even walk. Like when I get up in the morning, it takes me 10 minutes to get to the bathroom, which is like 10 steps away. It just hurts so much. So I can't wait to have this uh, ultrasound so we can figure out what's going on. Usually, it could be my age. Usually, you know, I, I pull something and a few weeks later, it's fine. But I'm just rubbing my leg now as I speak. Uh, usually, it's fine. But uh, this is taking a long time and it's frustrating. So I plan to do nothing next week. Uh, relax. because. Um, Going to the hospital, it's going to be very stressful every day. I'll go, like, it. I'm not sure what time. We still haven't got the times for the chemo yet. But if it's in the morning, I'll be getting up quite early, going down, picking my mom up, and then coming back up here to uh, take her to the hospital. So let's get into our whips this week. So I have been doing a lot of cross-stitching. Uh, Paige is dying to get her cross stitch. So uh, this is what I worked on in the evenings while she was sitting beside me and I had my little neck light on. So it's coming along really, really well. This is the skull that I'm working on. That's just a, a strand that I put the needle here because I'm afraid I'll lose it. So I got all this green part completed, the light pink and the flowers done, and I'm working on the black right now. So um, I'm going to say I'm more than half done right now. So I'm hoping to get this done and I'll be working on it this week because Paige really wants it uh, for her bedroom for Halloween. So that's my first cross stitch. And then the one I'm working on for myself is just over here where I do my arts and crafts. And I was working on it again this morning. So um, you really can't tell because of the uh, the stamped on, but I've got most of the colors done in the first two rows, working on the third, and then I'm working on this black bird, and I decided to do the big black house down at the bottom. So I do this in the mornings while I'm watching my videos and the news. So it's coming along, and um, I'm going to be working hard on this so I can get it done by Halloween also. So those are my cross stitches. My paint by number was put on hold to get these cross stitches done. Um, I'm I'm going to say 75%, 80% finished on the paint by number, but it's just on hold for a little bit. And then I worked on my knitted blanket a little bit. Like I said, this is going to take me a year, maybe more. But, um, whoops. What's going on here? There we go. So I have, I got my needle stuck in the yarn here. So I'm not even through my first ball yet. I worked on it while watching a pre-season um, hockey game last night with our Toronto Maple Leafs. Our Blue Jays are out. We, lo we um, lost in the Wildcat. So that's how much I've got done now. So... Not much, but it is a lot of hours work. So I did get, I'm going to say, another three inches done. So hopefully if I can do an inch or two uh, every week, I'll get it done by next Christmas. We'll see. Not this Christmas, but the following Christmas. I am enjoying it. I love the feel of the uh, stitches. And um, I like the way this pattern is um, making its own border. So it's a nice squishy blanket. And it is a, a fine uh, number five yarn. 
by, uh, I, be, I believe it's Premier, yep, it's Premier Puzzle Yarn. So those are the colors in there. So I worked on that for a little bit, just, you know, give me a chance to do something that I hadn't touched in a while. And um, then I started on my movie marquee blanket. Here's a picture of the poster up here. I've moved over a little bit so I can put the pictures up beside me. Um, someone had mentioned that sometimes they can't see the picture. So I thought if I move over, I'll be able to make the pictures bigger. So that's the movie marquee. And my granddaughter Paige picked out the colors. And the first color she picked out was a Bernat Premium yarn in the color gray, gray variegated. And the balls are getting smaller, I can't believe it. It's five ounces and 250 yards per, per uh, ball. And I've used two and a half, basically. And this is the square that I'm making here. So it's a really springy yarn. My cat, oh, my cat's eating. I heard her making noise. Talking about my cat yesterday, I had the scare of my life. I screamed so loud. So she loves sitting at the back door and uh, watching all the critters outside, you know, the squirrels and the birds and uh, the chipmunks. So um, I always open the door and I opened the door when I got back from grocery shopping yesterday and I don't know what happened, but uh, she got the door open about four inches. So I'm sitting there and I'm doing a little bit of the cross stitching and watching a video in the family room. And all of a sudden she comes chasing and I see something in front of her and it was about that big. And I went, oh my God, it's a rat. Cause it was huge. It was too big to be. So I'm watching it. It's behind the TV. She's trying to get behind the TV in the stand. I my kitchen and family room are all one room. So I go over, I've got a broom beside the fridge. So I go to get the broom and it's gone. And I went, oh my God, where did it go? And then I saw her um, chasing her this one. I thought, please don't go upstairs. And I closed the bathroom door thinking, okay, it's not going to go in there. And I couldn't find it. I called a, um, a company to come in and put some traps down or something if it was a mouse or a rat or whatever and they said I need to let them know what it is and I have to wait till I see droppings and I'm thinking oh my god what am I going to do I don't want to watch uh, an animal in my house I don't know where it is so as and I went outside and did the nasty I uh every once in a while I uh do the nasty and um, I came back in and the cat is just staring under the uh, door of the bathroom down here. So I thought, okay. And the girl that I called said, open the back door and see if you can scare her out. Get rid of the cat food and hopefully she'll, this, whatever it is, will get scared out. So I'm looking around and the cat keeps looking under the bathroom. So I get my broom again. I open the bathroom door and... I have a little basket with some smelly stuff and extra toilet paper and I see movement behind the basket. So I pushed it with the broom and she came running out and she went bolting back, thank goodness, back into the family room and behind the TV again. And I'm just chasing with the broom, pushing behind to scare her out. And then finally she came running out and um, bashed into the window and I pushed her out through the open screen and it was a baby chipmunk it was only like about this big but I gotta tell you my heart rate was pounding just pounding so it worked out well but um, I couldn't believe that happened but it's gone now I was so scared I didn't want a mouse and I was worried that it would hurt the cat too so weather is nice I'm not even sure where I was when I went off on that my tangent from yesterday so those are the squares I'm making and I started to join them just to see what it's going to look like because I um, I decided to make uh, my square only five inches so it's one round uh, smaller than what I normally do. So to figure out how many I'm going to need, I did the first couple rows of the blanket. Oh, hello, little girl. And decided to do it with the red. And it is a continuous join. I'm not sure 
if this anybody else does it this way but I tried it with a uh, single crochet so I um, when I get to the corner I do a, uh, a single crochet then I do another single crochet chain one and join it to the other side and then when I come back around I will do the third single crochet in the spot I don't know if I'm explaining it right or not but I think it's turning out pretty good I do like it and um, so it's five across, so I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to need seven down for my wheelchair lap again. So uh, it's the first time I've tried it with a single crochet join. I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly, but uh, I'm fudging it a little bit. So that's what I've done on the Movie Marquee. And the Movie Marquee is from three podcasters, uh, Heather the Crochet Witch, Bella's Crochet Gifts and Amethyst Craft Works, and I'll link their uh, links below. So the yarns I'm using, like I said, is Bernat Premium, and then I found this um, Red Heart Soft. Everything is from my stash this year, so my Red Heart Soft, and in the color, really red, and that's it there. Yeah, it's a really nice, it's a Christmas red, and I do like the... Uh, the soft, the, the um, Burnett Premium is a, a thinner four weight. So um, this yarn's a little thicker, but it's gonna work out because it's just for the border. So those are the yarns I'm using. And like I said, um, I'm on my third ball right now. And like you can see here in the paper, this is only how big the skeins are. Like I've hardly touched this at all. and for some reason there's some kind of cut in the middle of it too but uh, yeah the skeins are getting smaller and they're charging more so uh, and I noticed that with the craft smart too their um, yardage is much smaller than it used to be it used to be over 300 now it's two something here's an old one here that needs to be brought upstairs and so let's see yeah there's 354 and I believe there's only 200 and something in the new skeins I thought they were smaller but I wasn't sure but yeah the skeins are getting smaller and the uh, cost is getting higher so that's what I worked on a little bit this week and uh, let's see the only other thing Paige picked out colors for um, my flower of the month that I do, uh, and that's through Judy's Creations in crochet. And uh, she has a flower of the month, and I'll put that flower up here. And uh, Paige picked out the colors, and um, she picked, whoops, got everything out here. She, this has been used and loved, but and it's broken, but we'll tape that up. And this is a uh, Red Heart Comfort in the color doesn't have a color okay color yellow <laughs> so uh, that's one yarn that I'm going to use and I'll start that this week also and the second one is an impeccable uh, which is a Michael's yarn and the color is orange crush it's probably there the color the sun is just shining and it's uh, 1030 in the morning on the Friday morning and uh, it's just shining in today so yeah perfect color right there so those are the two colors that I'm going to use to make a shawl for the uh, flower of the month so that's it for my whips I don't have any crochet um, items that are finished but I did finish my diamond painting and I am so amazed how it looks so uh, this is the one I got from Michaels in the Halloween section and it is the skull and it's just spectacular I'm so pleased how it turned out and around the eyes and the mouth and the nose there are some um, diamonds that glow in the dark so I'm gonna put a picture here hopefully you'll be able to see it but um, I thought it's pretty cool but Paige is gonna love it I'm gonna go get a cheap poster board and I tried washing this off like they do on the cross stitches but it's not washing off I'm gonna try some nail polish and see if I can get that off so I can just put the whole thing in a poster board without cutting it so I'm hoping the nail polish will take that off and I'll show you next week if it if it worked or if I have to trim it right down 
But uh, I'm really pleased how this turned out. And it's pretty cool the way it looks. I'm hoping you can see it. So that was my only finished item for this weekend. I actually just finished it this morning. Um, so I hope you had, a, like I said, a great week. And you have a wonderful whip weekend. Get your whips done. We have a three-day long weekend. And I don't do any housework or anything like that on the weekends. It... Um, it's for relaxing with my husband and hopefully the weather will stay nice and we'll be able to spend some time outside in our gazebo. I love this time of the year. It's supposed to get a little cooler, but not that cool. So uh, hopefully we'll get to spend some time outside in our gazebo. And um, we've been watching pre-hockey uh, games, pre-season hockey games. So uh, we're looking forward. I think regular season starts next week. And we do like spending time out there with the fire going and just relaxing. So... So to all my Canadian friends, have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.